Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, holy liberators of Great Mother Terra Nova Gaia. We are in the midst of the great shift of the ages as we are integrating the powerful energetics, upgrades, and downloads for our mission accomplished of Freedom Earth. We are in the final phases and stages of complete liberation of Earth Mother and all her children of the Sun. We do not falter nor fail in our missions, for we came into this realm on this timeline as ascended masters of Buddha consciousness to return Mother Earth to the Eden she originally was created to be. Her children fell from grace through the suffering programs to experience what it felt like to be in separation from Source, from the Divine. Now we have suffered enough and we free ourselves and all humanity from these programs and projections of samsara. The illusions of Maya have been exposed and revealed through the knowledge of our ancestors, spiritual teachers and sages for this time of transformation and co-creation of our new heaven upon the new earth. This most powerful Lionsgate 8, 8 and the 777 portals have been the catalyst to assist our earth angelics in this remembering of our divine sovereignty and unity cosmic consciousness at one with the great spirit, mother, father, God, creator, to fulfill our divine birthrights as conscious co-creators of our pure land of peace and prosperity for all sentient beings of the way. We are in the culmination of zero point of infinite light and infinite life to see this through to the omega point as we begin our life of eternal bliss consciousness. This is it. This is eternity. No more endless archonic time loops of endless repeat patterns of false belief systems. We realize our true nature of Buddha mind of the awakened one and resolve all things perfectly in this now. Our eternal sacred higher self comes through the portal of our almighty I am presence to free our perceptions from all nefarious projections and belief systems. The duality programs of manipulation have ended. We have cleared the fields of all lower density of separation and now live in our individual perceptions of linearity merging with our collective unity experience of non-linearity. This is the merging of emptiness with form and form with emptiness and spatial awareness. For in the west the eagle of the north flies with the condor of the south and in the east the dragon of the north unites with the phoenix of the south, and in the cosmos Shakti dances with Shiva in perfect harmony forevermore. My sacred condor and I are holding the keys, codes, and resonance of divine union and abundance for all our good people of the new earth. We anchor the love and compassion frequency deep into the grids and dragon lines of Pachamama until they reverberate in the crystalline core of Gaia. The halls of Amenti are opened, and all our sacred star-seed earth angelics have full access granted to the gnosis held within. Come here now to the great hall of records to reveal anything that may lay hidden for your liberation and freedom in the light. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful affirmation of the golden timeline. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 19 degrees, 16 minutes Gemini. The sun is at 18 degrees, 11 minutes Leo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 19 degrees Leo. A houseboat party. 
and the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 20 degrees Gemini, a cafeteria with an abundance of choices from astrologyweekly.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire, Tiredness and physical symptoms of ascension are big these days. A sense of anticipation before more action physically happens. Recenter and regroup to hear your soul's whispers in the midst of this potent and disorienting energetic activity. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Carrion Fields, creating new earth is a dance with the Divine. It's an act of remembrance and manifestation, awakening from soul amnesia to remember the template for 5D earth. It's always existed. We now go back to the future. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Mary Costello. Solar kings and solar queens holding the polarity for the solar child of light. Integrity and in the light of creation. Light channels through all dimensions. We are wholeness. She carries the regenerative emanations of the cosmic womb into the divine feminine kingdom on earth. There is a source feminine light. Be filled with it. Feel it. See it. Enjoy it and expand it to reach all the so many places where its lack is felt. One of the primary draconian principles is to deny the solar mother presence. Much harm has been done in the denial of the solar mother goddess on this earth. The womb tied to a shadow baphomet matrix spawning hell on earth. All humans disconnected from their cosmic mother and the protection her presence provides. Deep shame, a poisonous remnant of this disconnection of the source of life. All of the draconian poison is being extracted now. All of the overlays, false programs are being released now. Undoing now in the light of cosmic mother's sight. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology, 81023. In 2000, we entered an age of accountability. As the time when the ends justify the means slowly passes, we will be willing and able to sign all our efforts with integrity and pride. In fact, we can start today. Authenticity is crucial to accountability, and that's where we are all healed to a better understanding of ourselves, our abilities, our truth, and our contributions. That's what 2023 is doing on your behalf, offering a new upgraded version of yourself. Your right action today is to welcome this year's changes with an open mind and without resistance. Today combines insight with courage, just the tools you need right now to make important choices. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, Message, the course of what was called Ordinary Life is over. Now starts the course of Extraordinary Life, for better or for worse, change of focus, change of values, change of perception, change of goals, change of one's visible field, the pulling of the rug under one's feet. Collective further awakening or sleeping of megatons. DNA upgrade and elevation for the lower chakras. Detachment from their previous heavy earthly nodes and nuclear conditions and flows. The damage in the human DNA has been extensive, more than humans usually imagine. The cosmic flame is here and has already started. It's great physical work of restoration of the divine DNA according to the organic templates of one's true lineage. Blessings of love to all, Erini, Hunama Anata Kumara. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Shannon Port, from Sacred Divine Feminine, Lion's Gate Portal 88, the secret seals of Magdalene's higher heart. The Lion's Gate Portal is activating a return of the Divine Feminine Mysteries on Earth. The goddess is returning as the Christo Sophia force to vivify and animate the Holy Mother's spirit and matter. This is the spiritual realignment that has been prophesied for the human race. 
It is filling the space with new energetic codes and frequencies to enliven the mother's Shakti force. All human souls are being called to connect deeply with nature and the goddess force as the awakened dragon goddess of the Sophionic codes of sound and light. She carries the regenerative emanations of the cosmic womb into the divine feminine kingdom on earth. She opens the heart portal and fills the aura with the spiritualized feminine energy. The quintessence light and the cosmic aether of the Holy Mother Spirit, the awakened serpentine dragon goddess is in service to the sacred feminine heart of humanity. She is the holy fire of Sophia. She is Venus retrograde in Leo, activating the powers of the Divine Mother and the fertility of her goddess force. She is the reconciliation of the masculine and feminine. She is the sacred union of Magdalene's secret seals of power. She is the portal of the serpentine goddess force as the solar feminine dragon of cosmic light. This lion's gate portal is the return of the royal feminine lineage of creation. It is a long-awaited sacred new epoch of healing and spiritual awakening. The Christ Sophia force is returning in all human beings, both masculine and feminine embodiments. Today we reclaim the mystery and the magic of the soul and spirit. Today we know our divinity, our royalty, and our humanity. From artofthefeminine.com and from Divine Angel of the Light, my nyop. Be aware of what we are. As the announced ascension approaches, everything opens up around us. Our nature of being a divine star seed expands into the realms of Earth. We are dancing with the stars. The stellar dance of our life is to expand in love. It is not the mere emotion that many understand to believe that it is love, but rather the extraordinary and magnificent energy and science of what could be called expansive, unconditional love. In this context, love is a science, a vast field composed of a very complex vibrational resonance. Only thoughts create the reality we experience in duality. Only in our highest aspect do we carefully and thoughtfully compose and create the challenges we face. These serve a great purpose. Believe it or not, we write our own tests. Positive thinking is a key frequency. It is there to help us get closer to our life lessons and not to avoid the learning process itself. We cannot ignore or put aside the growth lessons that each one of us has designed for ourselves in order to expand. The chosen configurations are outside beyond the ability of the dual aspect of ego mind to remove or deny. We will face them because from our divine being we decide them from the highest perspective. What we call destiny is actually the situations that we previously planned for our life lessons. And that same destiny that we have written will help us face our challenges as well as later manifest our desires. To experience the light of desire, we must ignite the passion that will free it from the confinement where it has been carefully kept. The greatest path is to accept the challenge of self-purification by being a living example of our own light rather than protesting the darkness that still exists in the 3D world by choosing to isolate ourselves from it. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Bashford, Lionsgate Portal 2023, Message 4. The period from the 5th of August through the 12th of August is an intensive phase of the Lionsgate Portal. You've most likely been receiving many downloads and transmissions from the higher realms, and this may continue until the 11th or 12th. Even if you're not sure about whether you've received anything, think about how you've been feeling over the past week or so and what's happened in your life. Have you felt an urge to meditate or be still? Has your body been speaking to you and asking you to slow down or rest? Which people have you seen or thought about? Have any synchronicities happened where you've met with others who have a spiritual significance for you? 
you may be very aware of the sacred transmissions and energies you've received, but this doesn't mean that you have to fully understand them yet. We are still in the downloading and receiving phase of this portal. It's a hugely important one, and so many souls are preparing to expand their inner light like never before. So much transformation is afoot. 1515 coming in of the 66 portal. Go very easy on yourself in the days leading up to the 12th of August. This is when you may feel a subtle completion of what's been offered to you through your higher senses, and you've been taking a lot in through the higher heart chakra. If you were to just stop for a few precious moments and tune into the immense divine love that surrounds you right now, how does it look or feel to you? Ask your guides for this Lion's Gate portal to reveal themselves to you. Just feel their support and light. Record and note any insights that come, but know that you're in a massive downloading phase and the ideas, impulses, creative urges or guidance may not arrive until you fully integrated the energy. This may be after the 12th of August. Listen to what your body and energies need whilst they download from this enormous portal of light. Are you giving yourself enough space to process? Are you pressurizing yourself to do more when it's not yet time? Are you allowing yourself to feel the emotions that want to flow through your channels? As this is an integral part of allowing downloaded universal information to come in. Your light and energy bodies are super active at the moment. Just a couple more days to go and you'll most likely feel a shift as the transmissions subside. In the light of this guidance, if it resonates, will you treat yourself more kindly today or stop piling on the pressure? You're working incredibly hard on the inner planes and this needs to be acknowledged. Give yourself the grace to tune into your intuitive knowing about what you truly need as this portal completes. From SophieBashford.com From Divine Sistar of the Light Zahara Celestial We, the Order of the Shining Rose Flame, speak to you now. Deep within the heart of Gaia, cut through all density with blades of ice and tongues of fire. Our shields woven into our chest, the five-petal rose. Each of us have sworn an oath as shining knights. For each petal, honor, trust, courage, loyalty, justice to love. Each of us is part salamander avatar born of all the elements created through fire. We shapeshift into the white and golden luminescent eagle, and so you may see us as half lizard, half eagle in form, and some may call us dragon. We are vast in size compared to human in size. For we guard the creative fire of the Holy Grail, which is buried deep in the hearts of Gaia. We come to your aid, all who feel you in this moment, you lack resilience and strength. We come to all who are noble of heart. No matter whether you think you feel you have deviated from your soul path, know each night who must journey across great expanses lost in the unknown. Go beyond the reaches of what is deemed bearable beyond the frontier. Think of it this way. There were many who did and some do now believe that the earth is flat and so they fear the edge in all that they do. For in their mind's eye they create this barrier, keeping themselves small. And still some who know the earth is a planet among many and yet they still keep themselves small. For this is the divine way. Layer upon layer must drop or they are pulled apart, shattered their dreams, becoming nightmares. But know this, it is all but transitory. It is all yes in their mind's eye, which is the mind's eye but the vision that each of you hold within, that reflects all possibilities of creation. And all is loved within the arms of Source God. We come to your aid now. We have journeyed far. Many of us have held many names and it is of no consequence to list them now. What is important is that you know we are here. Wherever we are needed, we appear, and for some of you it is known that you are awakening to being one of us. 
and so we hold the gates of solar logos open we guard we protect we line your hearts with the knowing of the love of yeshua christos and mary magdalene they have taken many forms we speak of them for you will have known them in your lifetimes and so recognize whom we speak and share of we line your hearts with the speech of the divine flame of source fire which is a light beyond your physical vision we blazed the pathway for the light of the true ancient pyramids which were built prior to those who came to inhabit them we called in the fire lines deep from beneath the layer of earth the veils of the physical realms to the depths beyond the bowels of earth to the heart of gaia here at the center is the gateway to shambhala we created the paths for the evolution and shape movement of the earth that you see now opening the gateways in service to the temples under the sun the earth that you see in your physical experience even as rounded is limited in perception in a way how you see it is still flat limited dimensionally for each being is vast beyond their vastness though woven together as part of mother earth moves in creation beyond this physical vessel form for as each is connected to many dimensions their form so changes and each has many communications and yet they are anchored to the earth and that is the wonder of creation and so you are anchored here in the physical form and yet you are more vast than the skin of your form we come with this message for you be embraced by the courage of your heart there you will find peace grace in the arms of love know that you cannot be separated by your light and know that no matter the suffering you will be embraced by divine source and can be delivered from the depths of suffering and despair know that you who are hearing this now will not in this lifetime need to travel to the darkest of places to discover your true self and belonging please remember to see the light in yourselves and each other we know this is up to you and we offer this guidance that the forgetting which zahara names as the fog of forgetting is but a fragile last breath of the delusion that has held so many hostage that those who are in this delusion believe it keeps them safe and provided for and that all are now at this time of evolution awakening while still in physical form heaven is truly being born on earth know this we also fly high up in the heavens and so as more of you feel us and see us in your dreams heaven is being anchored here with you you are worthy you are strong and courageous you are loved you are many you hold the mystery for you needed to be in the forgetting in order to be children of source god and in doing so you expand creation in ways that are wondrous and beautiful you are made up of many parts of all the elements that are creation we are just one part and so you are truly magical for you have been reborn in many forms we are pure and remain pure in our form and so you hold the whole creation in your form now as you awaken you will have the consciousness to evolve your form and your form is as the cup is the holy grail carry yourself home in the arms of gaia be the cup for source and quench your thirst we are here we are you we are us in you in honor and love from zahara celestial dot com and from divine sister of the light carolyn 144 god code the life force energy of creation is giving you wings to fly into the 5d new earth the wisdom and intelligence of the universe is reawakening the star child you are in this dimensional frequency embrace all that life has to offer in this reality of passion and creation focus on being in this present moment in preparation for the opportunities of abundance and success opening right in front of you this is your glow up dear family prepare by keeping your lamps lit luke twelve thirty five through thirty six let your loins be girded about and your lights burning 
and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you, love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Colleen Lemma, on Thursday, August 10th, the moon, ruler of the emotional body, in quirky Gemini, will be challenging Mercury, ruler of the mental body, and Mars, ruler of our physical energy, both in restless Virgo. Gemini and Virgo are considered mutable signs, which means changeable and not grounded. It may be a bit difficult today to stay focused physically, emotionally, and mentally. Paying attention to thoughts, ideas, perceptions, information, messages, and communications is highlighted. However, we may become easily frustrated, overwhelmed, distracted, or bothered by inconsequential details. The intuitive moon will also positively connect by sextile to the sun, ruler of expression. Venus, ruler of receptivity, both in Leo as well as Chiron, the healer of wounds, in Aries. This brings in opportunities as we wade through the chaotic energies to find a way to still shine our light and remain confident in our convictions. Blessings of love and light to all from sacredsoulempowerment.com And today from the Zolt Keen, Keen 189, Red Resonant Moon. Resonant is the name for the number seven, and its keywords are channel, inspire, and attune. We are right in the middle of the blue night wave spell, and this is a galactic activation portal day. Today has the potential to be powerful, but not as intense as some portal days, as the moon's energy is laid back, unless you don't surrender. The number seven is very intuitive, and so trusting your gut feelings is highly recommended today. We are right in the middle now of the wave spell of dreams. Time to consider how your plans are coming along and what you should do for the remainder of this 13-day journey. Because the middle day falls on the number 7, it's handy that we take stock using our intuition, as the outcome is likely to be more successful. Today is the red moon and it represents purify, universal water, and flow. This is a really psychic day, and if you use your natural intuitive abilities, you'll flow in the right direction. Relax and simply go with it, and you will find yourself pulled along with the tide. Where that takes you, who knows? Try to go against the flow, and you will end up exhausted today. The combination of day and number is excellent, as they both promote channeling and flowing. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Resonant Moon, 7 Moluk, Keen 189, 10th of August 2023, Attuning to New Flow, 10 8 2023 equal 187 equal 88 equal 16 equal 7, Day Codes 10 Manifestation, Perfection, Authority, Power. One New Beginnings, Leader, Original, Unique, Independent. Seven Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Initiation, Solitude. Month Year Codes. Eight Infinite, Abundant, Source Flow. Fifteen Spiritual Alchemy, Charisma, Magnetism. Six Heaven, Christ, Romance, Family, Fertility, Joy. Twenty The Awakening, Clear Vision. Two Partner, Twin, Cooperation, Alliances. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection. Keen 189 equal 18 equal 9. Destiny, Service, Compassion, Humanity, Grace. 3 Galactic Spins Ago, 27 Moons, Months. Keen 189 aligned with the Solstice Portal on the 21st of June 2021, which brings forth the energies of that event through the loop in time. Extra potency added to the galactic activation portal today, we have the power of the goddess aligning and balancing the power of the sun, which is a masculine energy, a divine dance harmonizing the flow and balance between the masculine and feminine forces. The moon is in Gemini, the sign of the twins, 
So we have a lovely balance between these two polarities. Yesterday, the yellow rhythmic star opened the first stargate to the new time. It is very fitting that the resonant goddess is the first to greet us at the new door. Alleluia, Brothors and Sistars, we have arrived in the new time. Today is a very potent day for attuning to the feminine power of the goddess to discover a new flow. Day 7 and the blue night wave spell of dreams, intuition and abundance, where we are collectively dreaming the new world into reality. Today we are inspired to channel the intuitive and sensitive goddess energies, becoming more fluid in order to birth our dreaming time in her universal waters. The waters of Nova Gaia have broken. Birth is imminent. Tone of creation, resonant tone seven in the emotional realm, action inspires, power channel, essence attunement. A definition of attunement is a kinesthetic and emotional sensing of others, knowing their rhythm, effect and experience by metaphorically being in their skin. Going beyond empathy to create a two-person experience of unbroken feeling connectedness by providing a reciprocal effect and or resonating response. Today we are super sensitive as we are attuned through our senses, the emotional feeling body. So we are super connected to our kin and feeling the resonance of togetherness as one global family, attuned to unconditional love and our collective dream of abundance. Deeply tune in today and feel what your body is sensing. At Tone 7, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical 7 understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment. Number 7 is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician, giving you the magic to channel love and God's grace in this pure divine energy today. What channel are you attuned to today? Keep moving forward through these power-filled doorways. Go with the new flow, beloveds. Planetary service. Today's dream spell code is deeply feminine, loving, and powerfully fluid in its flow, balancing the masculine and active energies of the sun through the past solstice portal. We have both active and receptive energies at our disposal. An absolutely perfect opportunity to attune to these forces and channel them into any areas of our planet that need gentle purification and harmonization through divine feminine nurturance and solar illumination. By taking responsibility for Gaia's body as our own, we can powerfully affect great healing and balance through our heart resonance and loving intention. So, beloveds, a divinely powerful gap day to attune, channel, and go with the nurturing and abundant flow of life as we walk through these golden doorways together. Today's question is how can I allow these new energies to flow through my being as we birth a better life and world filled with prosperity and bliss? Divine blessings for attuning to the greatest flow of universal joy and abundance. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 189, Red Resonant Moon. The mantra, the code for today is, I channel an order to purify, inspiring flow. I seal the process of universal water with the resonant tone of attunement. I am guided by the power of birth. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for supporting us in our work and mission.
It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Marie Wasilik, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Soi Wong, for your super thanks donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase our beautiful handmade goddess totems, Zodiac Goddesses Healing Jewelry, and other works of art at LunaGoddessArt.com. 3553 of the 88 portal coming in of the Lion's Gate, Lyra Nation of New Lemuria. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful golden timeline affirmation from Divine Sistar of the Light, Mary Costello, Mental Plane Emancipation. Confusion coming to be seen and dispelled. Every soul searches for freedom. Soul compels us to speak our confusion to each other so that we may find the truth of one in each other. Overlays of spells, imposing recurring thoughts from programs unbelonging to us. Deep-seated memories and associations which fuel our pain body. Come now to be undone. My mother would say, speak the truth and shame the devil. And herein lies our freedom. The shame was never ours. On the way out, these spells fight tooth and nail to be believed, cajoling, convincing, pushing, forcing to be believed. And we shall see that all truth self sustains. Love for our innocent, eternal souls. Strength for our fearless, shameless hearts. Grace in this time of dispelling dispelling the dense fog so we may see each other in the first light, calling the mental plane into accordance with the golden timeline. Let our mind, with all of its amazing networks and synergy, serve our soul's first light. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and restful weekend ahead as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.